I thought today I would just have a quick look at my APRS setup at home in the shack. Um, and for those of you who are not sure about APRS, it's Automatic Packet Reporting System. And it's a means of sending position and other information via um, a radio, whether that be in your house or in your car, or if you're out portable, um, and have that displayed to anybody who might want to see it um, on um, the inter well, the global, actually, the global um, servers. So if you have a quick look at my little radio at home. So this is basically just a radio, multiband radio that is currently set onto the APRS frequency, which in the UK 144.8 megahertz uh, FM, and it's running into the computer via a serial interface device, uh, and is displayed um, on the screen uh, as via the software that I'm running, which is Yak, yet another APRS client which is a fantastic piece of software which is currently all, um, constantly being updated and developed by a chap called Andrew in the States um, KA2DDO I think is his um, call sign uh, he's a very talented software engineer um, and this piece of software is absolutely superb the software feeds into global servers as I said a few seconds ago um, and here is a track on my iPad um, that the system picked up from my car first thing this morning when we did a quick nip trip to Sainsbury's to buy, buy a few supplies. So yeah, that's uh, how it ends up on the software that anybody can see around the globe. Um, but interestingly, it does more, a lot more than just showing your position. So if we get back onto the computer, it's a superb messaging thing. If I, I've got my radio left on on the car just at the moment. So if I try and send my car a message uh, from the computer here. So if I see, we should, look, the car is appearing there because uh, it's picking us up here at home. And if I just send a message to the car basically saying hello. Uh, I'm guessing the car should send a response. Yes, the car sent a response back. If you look here um, to say an acknowledgement, yes, I've received that message that you just sent and also a holding message, hello, message received, thanks. Uh, and if I was sitting in the car and this was being sent by somebody else we could actually have a short conversation using text messages from car to car purely using radio uh, or being bounced from one repeater to another uh, you could have long distance conversations and in actual fact if we send another message uh, message station if we this time go to the any server message if i log on to um, a a global group uh, for aprs which has a net every thursday but there'll be somebody there now i'm sure listening in uh, if we send a text to um, cq h o t g um, hi from york Shear England and I send that now that will be bounced from server to server until it gets picked up by the server in America here we go so that is now um, hi from Yorkshire 13 messages sent um, so we are hooked up onto the NT, the hams on the ground uh, server. Uh, we don't want to sit and get loads of messages and clutter up that because we can see any server has picked us up there. Uh, I need to unsubscribe for that otherwise we could clutter up the system with unwanted unnecessary messages. So if I just unsubscribe HOTG then we send that And we should unsubscribe from that. 
removed from group. So we're unsubscribed. So there's a simple, very, very quick look at messaging from uh, APRS. Most people just use it, as I said earlier, by for just recording their positions. Uh, but it does a huge amount of thing. And I might cover all that in a lot more detail at some later stage. But for now, that's just a very quick look at my APRS setup at home.